What's up guys, it's I am the mass man. Used to be iPod Touch helping, but now I am making content around NFTs, specifically the Tezos blockchain because um, I can relate to it a lot as an artist and this is kind of an artist first platform in my opinion. Um, it's a great way to get into NFTs if you only have $10 rather than you know needing honestly kind of thousands of dollars to go on Ethereum um, just based on the fact that the um, gas fee is $100 alone. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video guys. I wanna show you these three different artists. Um, this guy is pretty unique. He's got some nice work here. And this last guy who is looks to be very new um, to posting NFTs, which is why I think he's so undervalued. You know, I really like these low copies and I think the art is just really stunning in and of itself. He's from Brazil, um, but let's start back here. Um, I went ahead, I did purchase one of these for two Tez. Sometimes I, I, I like the 10% there. Sometimes I like to wait um, until there's a little less. There's still five available from um, the creator. So sometimes I like to wait until there's maybe only two left or three or one, something like that, um, and scoop those up because that's when there's kind of more momentum I've, I've found in the past. Um, but I went ahead, I got one today, and you can see um, someone bought one about an hour later. Um, someone bought one just before I did, and that's how I found it. I was just on the live feed like I always keep open um, in the background where this is where a lot of opportunities lie, guys, like here, right here. This one really caught my interest just right there. Sorry to get sidetracked in this video before uh, I talk about these artists a bit, but I just kind of like this one. So there's seven of them by this artist. Um, they minted it last night. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I like it. I like the style. I would have to look more into that. Um, but I just like this guy's work mainly because of the skill level. I thought it was really damn good. Um, so I wanted to buy one so at least I could, you know, look at it every day as I go through my wallet and check out um, just his page, how he's doing, kind of check up on him. And uh, he is gaining momentum, but let's go try to find his social medias here. So we had to click object there and then here we go, Chris. Oh yeah, this one was more complicated. Um, so I had to go on Twitter and I forget, you have to search this maybe um, with out the L there was something weird I had to do to find his uh, social media but I do think he has potential I'm keeping my eye on him I have not uh, made any money and flipped any of his stuff yet but definitely a guy I'm still keeping my eye on this one I would say is a slightly safer bet not that any of these or any NFTs in general are a safe bet I don't know you know the market could do a million things and that's all out of my hands do I believe in this stuff sure does that mean everybody's going to and should no um, but yeah this guy gets a fair few sales um, I went ahead today I bought this one because I've noticed he had similar um, stuff that was selling for more um, so I bought one of these today I happened to get it um, for one Tez and then they resold for about two Tez within you know minutes after um, the last one was done here within like 15 minutes, um, which is really cool. So I decided script, I will buy this. It's not necessarily a personal absolute favorite style, but I do like it. I do like that when you go to his page, um, he does have a distinct style. He has a pretty good following uh, you got to do some weird stuff to find his Twitter and stuff a lot of these people put the wrong links I, I just don't get how they haven't uh, checked it and stuff and made it easier for the collectors to see but this one here it's available for one Tez as well I did saw, see some people buying it today um, could be something to keep on your radar but these do have uh, have a decent amount of secondary sales and this is definitely an artist to throw on your radar um, this one out of today, I don't think this is the safest bet, but for me personally, this is just like a favorite to me. Um, I bought this one today because when I look at these, I, I think, well, these aren't even available. So I had no options. I could buy this for 20 Tez or I could buy this one for two. This is the best piece in my opinion. Um, and I think this one's just so good because it's it kind of like draws the emotion out of you kind of like a, the picture paints you know a thousand words or whatever they say like and beyond that not just the emotional pull of it but like the actual skill and just the vibe of it like the colors he uses the kind of 
creamy white like it's the off white not the just pure white white i just really like that i think it looks kind of nostalgic and um this artist even has a bit of a story like he's basically trying to portray the life that he sees from from where he's at he calls it um art uh from rio de, de janeiro sorry i'm i'm so bad with maps and knowing my uh, countries and whatnot but um definitely a very talented artist if we go to his twitter like he's freaking popping he's got 40k followers i have not checked out his uh instagram yet stuff like that but look at this like it got 400 likes and there's still one available so he's only got five pieces minted i'm sure he has a lot more um, that he's done because to get to this skill level you you've probably created a lot a lot of stuff so to me this is like my one of my favorite picks just because it's got very low um, counts only 10 so 10 of those for two tez um, what i would do is i'd go you know two tez let's just call that ten dollars canadian it's about eight dollars american we times that by 10 that's about 80 dollars american total right it's about a hundred dollars canadian total for this one piece that's kind of how i sometimes evaluate pieces like i'll multiply you know the the copies by the price and um, i personally think this is worth about two to three hundred dollars um, just as a single piece so at this evaluation to tez you know i think this has upside but that's just my opinion so this was episode number four guys i just want to say thank you for watching it i hope you did enjoy it till next time